What's good, Super Nation? What's good, buddy out there? So today we'll be doing a reaction video on Galandor versus Dracula. Two iconic characters. We know Galandor from Legend of Zelda, and of course we know Dracula from movies, you know, everything else, and of course Castlevania, the game. So, without further ado, let's get right into this. But first, you guys already know I need my headset. Let's get it. Let us see who will win this battle. Who's gonna take the W? Your castle is lost, vampire. No man can challenge my power. <laughs> but what Death. a man! Drax is like chilling, drinking his blood. Secrets. It's like, who's this nigga? Oh, snap! I'm no mere man. Death! You just brush up like this nigga right here. I tell you. Him slap. <laughs> Yo, Dracula is straight up toying with Galandorf right now. Your tricks mean nothing. Damn. Yo, Dracula is a straight up owning. Damn! God, the trap was a powerful nut. Gal Love can do that too. He can do that too. Oh damn. Come on, Galandorf. Oh damn. Let's get manhandled. Yep. It's transforming. No fucks given. That's Galandorf right now. Snap. Damn. You're right. You're not a man. You're a pig. Let me hear you squeal. Good God! K.O. <sighs> you know, I hope Damn. someday I can learn to drink beers as violently as Dracula drinks people. There was a lot going on here. 
Both Ganondorf and Dracula show similar reaction speeds, with only a small percent difference when compared to the speed of light. They were both brilliant schemers who have perfectly manipulated many intelligent foes, and their standard magical arsenals seem pretty comparable Dracula overall. Dracula was playing with Dracula him the whole did have time. a leg up with a few extra magic powers like right that Ganondorf the bat just was didn't have. The whole like how he could time. rip out his soul in a bunch of different ways. That's something Ganondorf never really had to guard against before. Also, remember how Ganondorf survived an explosion worth about two kilotons of TNT? An admirable feat, to be sure, but let's look at that meteor strike Dracula survived. Based on its size, composition, and speed of ablation, it must have struck with an energy equivalent to two megatons of TNT, 1,000 times greater than Ganondorf's proven durability. But hey, I know what you're thinking. What about that sage sword Ganondorf had? Shouldn't he have had an easy time killing Drek since it's a holy weapon? In some circumstances, sure. Running this fight over and over a hundred times, Ganondorf would certainly score a few victories. But when considering Dracula's absurd regenerative abilities, it would take more than just a few hits from a holy weapon to finish him off. Not to mention, Dracula also wielded a holy weapon that took advantage of Ganondorf's weakness in the form of Demonic Megiddo. Yeah, I know it's called Demonic, so it seems weird, but it is explicitly described to be holy magic. And dropping a holy nuke on Ganondorf was a way more powerful victory move than trying to hit Dracula with a sword. And that's really what this came down to, power. Despite literally wielding the Triforce of Power, Ganondorf's potential paled in comparison to the energy Dracula drew from Chaos. Let's put this in perspective. The Triforce of Power comes from the goddess Din, who made the Earth. While we don't know the exact amount of power Din put in this piece, let's just highball it and directly compare it to her. So the energy attributed to the Triforce of Power could be compared to the size and energy of a planet. However, the Chaotic Realm is an entire universe, completely upheld by the power of the Chaos Entity. That is leagues greater than the power Ganondorf possessed. So it definitely had a lot more juice to give. Damn. Try thinking of the Chaotic Realm and the Triforce of Power as batteries, which fuel Dracula and Ganon's abilities. Compared to each other, Dracula would be drawing energy from something like a car battery, while Ganondorf's would be more akin to a small double A. Wiz, I'll give you five Damn. bucks if you lick that battery. Ganondorf <laughs> certainly held his own, but Dracula's more varied magic, greater regeneration, and enormous reserves of power sealed this desert warlock's fate. Of all the ways to go, that Not must have song. sucked. The big pig's chances were slim to gain none. The winner is Dracula. All I have to say is damn. Damn. That's all I have to say, damn. Like, I tell you. Like, I, I know Dracula was powerful and all because right from jump, he was he was showing Gallandorf no fucks given, okay? Like, he was he was slapping Gallandorf. Like, when I saw that, I was like, yo, this, this Dracula is on the next level. He's, he's on the next level, okay? I mean, Gallandorf, you know, he's powerful and all and everything, you know, he's showing off his power and stuff. But, Gal like, sorry, I mean, Dracula was straight up playing with him. Like, I'm looking at him like, Dracula's playing with the dude. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, damn. I mean, Gallop got some good hits, but come on. Like, that ending. Like, he, Dracula completely decapitate Gallandorf's body, okay? Like, damn. And he's drinking Gallandorf like you're, you're cracking open a beer or something. Like, something from Stone Cold Steve Austin the edge there, okay? He's <laughs> just... It was messed up. Can't do my boy Gallon off like that, man. I'm a big fan of him. Damn. So, if you guys enjoyed this reaction, drop a like, post, comments down below, share the video with friends, and also hit that subscribe button. Once you hit that subscribe button, I'm a super nation. You don't know what that is? That is my YouTube family. Thank you guys for watching, and stay tuned for more Instagram videos. Peace. I'm out.